Jesus Christ, the music. Okay. Hey guys, MattCraft.derp here. Welcome to MattCraft Plays Sonic Mania. Who oh boy, this game. The Sonic 4 we never got besides Sonic Advance. Oh. Oh, animated intro. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. I thought it was going to show me a demo of one of the levels. I haven't seen all of this, actually. Holy crap. This, this. First time they showed anything animated from this, it reminded me of the Sonic OVA, because Knuckles was in that too. He had a big old Australian hat. Oh, this is so lit. That reminds me of the ending of uh, Sonic CD when he was racing Metal Sonic on Stardust Speedway, including the poses. Uh, so this game is... I You know, it's less... I don't want to call it Sonic 4, because it, it seems less like Sonic 4 and more like just... A celebration of Sonic 1, 2, and 3, like generations, but only for the classic era. And you can play as Tails and Knuckles, which I don't think you've been able to do since... God, probably Heroes. No, Advanced 3. Yeah, Advanced 3 was after Heroes. So I take that back. But, um... Wow, was Advanced 3 really the last game that let you play as Tails and Knuckles? That's crazy to me. Wow. Yeah, anyways, a, a game with the 16-bit Gen uh, Sega Genesis graphics, but with such smooth animation. It's just so cool. The locking options away from me, that's nice. Um, you know what? Actually, yeah, let's check the controls real quick. Just real quick. Uh, jump. Jump. Got you. I should have known, I've played the classic games. I replayed all of Sonic 1 and 2 100% recently. Uh, I didn't get through all of Sonic 3, even though that's, that one's my favorite of the classic trilogy. And, um, but still. So I can play Sonic and Tails, just Sonic, just Tails. Or just Knuckles. Just like in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, wow. And it's interesting how it starts the save. Over on this side, and no save is still an option. Over on this side, because... Sonic 3 and Knuckles started it on the left side. This starts on the right side. I guess Sonic and Tails. I have to go with. Oh, just like the opening of Sonic 3. He even has he even has the goggles. Tails goggles. Is this Angel Island? Oh my god, we're starting this on Angel Island Zone! Why is why did it fall into the ocean again? I had assumed we were starting in Green Hill. Oh? Inverted colors? Oh? Oh, now we're on Green Hill Zone. Did they just transport me from Angel Island to Green Hill Zone? Hold on. Alright. Wow. Not gonna lie. Like, Green Hill Zone has been remade so many times in the Sonic series, but never, like, with this smooth of control. Like, and not even in Generations Classic level. Like, I like the improved graphics, but it, like, never, never with, like, this much, like, point for point, like, exactly like it was in Sonic 1. And I can't, I'm not gonna bother going up there. Do that. And woo. Yeah, boy. Oh, shoot. Wow. Rings fly at the screen at you, so you can't actually pick up all of them. That makes more sense now. I don't think you could in the original. Uh, let's still try to get 50 rings so that I can, uh. A bubble shield in Green Hill Zone? Oh, dude. Dude. That's so cool. Oh, and his pellets can't hit me. Can the chameleon hit me? Dude! Actually, I still wanna... Let's go back. Let's try to get up here to get more rings. Ah! Okay, that's fair. I can spin dash now, just like in, uh... Oh, and you have the... those lines, like in Advance 2. Oh, wow.
just need a few more. This will top me off. Yes, okay. Oh wow, that's new, that waterfall section. This part's from, uh, Act 2 of the original. So it combines Act 1 and 2. Wow, let's not lose our bubble shield. I really like the bubble shield. I want to keep it. Plus it lets me breathe underwater. Not that there are any underwater sections here. Even though there's a whole bunch of water. Um. Ooh! A giant ring like in, uh... Sonic 3. Okay, so I get to try out these special stages. Which feel like what Sonic R should have been. But aren't, but, but isn't, because Sonic R sucks. It's like, what how they've described it is the better version of, uh... Sonic CDs. How many of these do I need to be collecting? Oh, rings are my time limit. So collecting rings will give me more time. Wow, that's really clever. Oh, God. I wish... Because rings are so trivial in Sonic 3's special stages. And even Sonic CD's. That I wish that... Did I do it? I did! Wow! That's really cool, because rings are so trivial in Sonic 3 and Sonic CD's special stages. But now they actually have- they are your time limit. That's so cool! Oh, and now it's a- it's a- it's a wireframe! Oh, cool, so I can get multiple Chaos Emeralds in one. Oh, are the Super Emeralds in this game? And they've just been keeping it a secret? Because that's something they would do. And I, there's no giant ring. Oh, this reminds me of a... Oh, it's like the actual thing. Ow. No, I gotta hit you. There you go. This pattern is very predictable. I'm just not used to the controls yet. They feel like, um, you know, it's really hard to improve upon an old game's controls. Oh no, I could have caught that in midair and punched it a bunch. It, it's really hard to improve upon an old game's controls and still make it feel like the old game and not like something completely different. But, like, this game hits it right on the nail. Like, this, these, the gravity of this feels just like the classic trilogy, but the animations are so much smoother. And I love them. So, to enter the giant rings that I find, like, in the middle of the stages, do I still need to have 50 rings, or is it just like in Sonic 3, where finding them means opportunity at the special stage? So this is all new, this act, it seems, and it seems huge, honestly, is what I'm taking away from it first. Okay, fine, I'll just keep going. It's, it's like, god, it's so tall, but not like Sonic CD tall, like Sonic CD, ooh, like I hate. This is Blue Sphere, interesting. So, I saw that this was in the game, but I didn't know what its significance was, because this is how you got Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 3. But, like, here is it just, like, the bonus things from Sonic 3 that would happen if you got, if you hit the lamp posts with, uh, the star posts with 30 rings? I didn't know. So, I want to know what I get for this, and I want to not fail. Maybe it really is just extra rings, though it's still counting down, so hopefully my, uh, Sonic 3-ness is still helping. But, yeah, I'm amazed at the, the gravity. Like, if that makes any sense. Like, it feels just like the original trilogy. Um, but I'm happy that, like, the tallness of this Act 2 isn't akin to CD, because CD is level design. I hate CD, 
because its level design is absolutely atrocious. What is that? What is that? What did I just get? Was that a continue? Is that all that's for? Why are, conti are continues even a thing? And if so, why? But like, yeah, CD is level design. I hate it, and I hate that whole game. But its level design is so atrocious. Are you kidding me? Because its levels are so tall and it's hard to find things in them. But like, and they're very non-linear. Which I guess is kind of what they were going for, but like that's not how Sonic games should be played. Like it worked in say like Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal, that game could have Metroidvania type levels. But like, CD tried it before those kinds of levels in video games were perfected. And like it really shouldn't have. And I'm really good at Blue Sphere. <laughs> Though I feel like I'm going a weird path, so like it's gonna backfire soon. Oh, gee, I'm going really fast now. I only got like the first four Chaos Emeralds in the little bit I played of, uh... Oh wow, that was the last one! I thought I'd have to quickly turn in the little bit I played through of the beginning of Sonic 3 to prepare for this game, but I never actually finished it. What am I get? What are these medals?! I know there are like time attack medals. Oh god. Oh, this is long. This is really long. Okay. <laughs> oh, fire shield. Nice. Are there any bottomless pits in a. Uh... Oh, shit. In Green Hill Zone. And that's a one up. Oh, I could have gotten a bubble shield. I heard that uh, one up get theme. That, that was really... Oh, come on! That's that's cheap. Though, to be fair, he wouldn't have been there if I hadn't stopped myself and let him go forward. Um... Oh, wow. That's clever level design. But, yeah. I'm... <laughs> I've, I've heard from everyone all day. I've, I'm playing this the day of release, August 15th, but I'm playing it late at night. I've heard from everyone that this game is just, like, perfect. It's fantastic. I'm Blue Sphere again. Um, I also can't hear the song that plays in, in this stage without hearing the Friends theme. <laughs> like, it's so ruined. Like, most songs in, um... Sonic 3 are associated with Michael Jackson, but like this, I just can't think of anything but the Friends theme. That's a great show, you should uh, check it out if you haven't already, which you probably have because like, all people have, like at some point in their life, seen Friends, or at least parts of it. That's a great show, but like, oh, I'm amazed with this! It's so smooth! Like, I'm so happy the half pipe isn't in the game. To get for anything. But, like, because the half pipe is always, like, so janky and, like, hard to, to, like, really determine, like, what you're doing. I'm the king of Blue Sphere. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look at this closely. It's a Sonic coin! What? I don't know. I don't know, man. Who even knows? Oh, underwater. No, okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Tails. You're not useless. And you don't hold me back in special stages. Let's do another blue sphere before I take on the boss, why don't we?
They're being very clever with the, the design. So I never figured out in Sonic 3, it may be different here, but in Sonic 3 I never figured out how the speed momentum worked in, um, in the blue sphere stages. Like, I never figured out if it was, like, dependent on how many rings you have or how many, uh, blue spheres you've collected, or if it's about how many, um... Just how much time has passed these. Yes. That's bad. That's... Ooh. Okay. So sometimes those, like, bounce you backwards. <sighs> and other times they just, like, bounce you backwards for a bit, and other times they have you keep running backwards until you run into another one. Oh! There they are. Oh god, that's making me super dizzy. That's not the end of him. <laughs> I'm so much better at this! I swear to god, I've never done this before. I'm so much better at this than I am at the actual special stages in Sonic 3. Anyways, I wanna... They, they've announced in trailers, like, plenty of... What? Oh. Oh, Death Egg Robot. Okay. Oh, no, I actually can't hit that. Okay. Like, plenty of all the stages that they've recreated and the bosses, I guess. Jeez. Oh! I'm supposed to get close to him when he's doing that. And then dodge. So I can do that. Awesome! Wow, this is clever! Not only is it Death Egg Robot, the final boss from Sonic 2, in uh, the first stage in Sonic 1. And like, that's just such a cool concept. It's um... Oh god. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Oh, Tails! Tails did it! Wow. Tails saved me. Wow. Tails, get that. Tails. Tails. Oh, God, don't let me fall in there. <laughs> Some of the animals did. Jeez. God, that was cool. Oh, no, don't. Oh, you're supposed to. We're following him. Act three or cutscene? Oh, bud. He has minions. Like, that's such a common video game trope nowadays, like in uh, Mario Odyssey. Bowser's gonna have, like, the rabbit things. So he's just transporting me to different places. Oh! Bud, the second and most popular stage from Sonic 2, Chemical Plant. Okay, move. Wow, I... So... I know that there are some original zones, like Studiopolis Zone. Um... Maybe it's taking me to one from each game first, and then some original ones, and then every now and then back to the ones from an old game. Ow, bud. Also didn't get a, another giant ring. In a, no! Thank you, Tails. In Act 2. Yes, there really are more well hidden than they are in Sonic 3, because they were everywhere in Sonic 3. Like, no kidding. And because I just played these games, Sonic 1 and 2, it's like, the level design is so familiar to me, even though I'm still getting hit. Um, which, for the most part, is very, very much the same as it was in those original games.
and this is the part from Act 2 that I normally skip in uh, my replay recently. I normally never even saw this part, but we're done with it. Meanwhile, in Generations version of this stage, I'd always see it. Okay. So I wonder if the mini boss. So each Act One has a mini boss. A mini boss, like in. Are you kidding me? Are you what? Whoa. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Alright. <laughs> Alright, game. So, if each stage has a mini boss, the first phase of the mini boss of Green Hill Zone was reminiscent of the original boss of Green Hill Zone, the ball and chain Eggman. So, it, I wonder if the first phase of this mini boss is going to be reminiscent of that weird, like. The, the boss in Chemical Plant was weird in Sonic 2. Like, I, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. I just remember that there were a lot of falling platforms and. Yeah. Alright, let's not fuck that up. Again. <laughs> Luckily I got that one out <laughs> in Act 2. Or that Act 1, I don't remember. Um, let's knock it trap down there, goodness. Yeah, this is also a chance with them remaking all the old stages, or not all of them, but like a lot of the old stages. This is a 37, wow. I'm sorry, I, tr I tripped myself out because I didn't realize what I could have done there to get that one lone one in the corner. So like, I'm sorry about me miserably failing that. There's the right platforms for it. Oh, shoot. Is it chaos? Chaos! Oh, nope, nope, what's not? That water is evil and it uses Super Mode 7. Oh, but the, the rings around it are very reminiscent of, um... That one bo the bubble boss from Sonic CD. And also, there was another boss in, like, Sonic 2 or 3 that was just like it. What was it? Nice. Oh! Damn. No! Don't take it! Don't take that, y'all! Well, I hope it doesn't get rid of it. It doesn't... I don't think it does. I don't think it gets rid of my shield between acts. It didn't in Sonic 3, if I remember from the little bit I replayed recently. I played it all in the Sonic Classic Collection on the DS, so, like, honestly having a small controller like the Switch Joy-Con feels really natural to me. because of... Wow, that's cool. Um... Oh, <laughs> that's so cool! Um... Oh, this is awesome! It, anyways, having a small controller feels natural to me because I played it on the 3DS. And, like, so, yeah. The small buttons, the joystick... Which is much better than the circle pad, I might, if I may say. Oh, DNA. Cool. God, they're actually using the, uh, weird, like, this stuff. The gooey stuff. For cool things. And it's, there's, like, a washing machine of it in the background. Oh, that's not where I meant to go. Oops. Uh, up. Never go wrong when you go up. That's not true. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to roll into a ball. Like, the physics feel exactly like the original Sonic games, but there's something about them besides the animation that just makes them feel better than the original Sonic. Oh, that's. I'm, I probably lost it. Oh no, I didn't. Awesome.
Same same blue sphere or like new blue sphere? Ooh, new blue sphere. This is not what I should be doing. I forgot. Or is it? I don't remember. I don't think the, the blue ones in the middle, if I kept doing that pattern, so they do get more difficult. Awesome. I don't think if I kept doing the blue ones in that pattern, that they would... Shoot. What am I trying to say? That they would have turned into rings with that attitude. Why are my rings blue? I heard something about this is something from Sonic or er, Knuckles Chaotix. Um, but I don't know the deal with that. There was a one up back there, but I don't know how to get it. I probably just had to keep walking backwards, but okay. Guess you want me to go down. God, this is a blast! And like, I, I've heard um, people who didn't even like the original Sonic trilogy actually having fun with this game. And like, I didn't believe some of them at first, but like, wow! Th this is like really fun! And like, the level design, it's not even that the level design is clever or it works or like just that it's good it's just this is fun oh you don't lose all your rings when you get hit you lose them in groups of 10 which then those are like the the big rings that go flying at you or whatever I don't know man tails don't die oh no okay Christ! Like, oh my good gravy! Kill me if I ever say that again, but like... Oh, oh that's lava. That's like lava stuffs. Oh, so what do I... Wait, so what do I do? Was I supposed to use the momentum from the green to get, have the blue get me across? Wait. Where is this supposed to- oh. I'm done. <laughs> I was wondering where that was supposed to be taking me. Thank you, Tails. Tails is actually useful in this, Jesus. So I wonder if Knuckles and, uh... Just Tails, just Knuckles, or just Sonic go to all the same stages in the same order. Cause like... Oh wow, it does! Yeah, because even though they're reds, they still count as things. So they still will turn into rings. Okay, that, yeah, that makes more sense now. So if I had just kept going the main way... ...before... Oh shoot. That's bad. Nope, yeah, I fucked that up. I fucked that up royally. I knew exactly when I messed up. You never get the middle, the middle things. Oh, okay. I deserve that. I got greedy. <laughs> no! I'm playing boy up! No! Are you kidding me? Did they just throw me- Look, you know Dr. Robotnik! He's got a mean bean machine! You know he's good at this! Oh god, please don't make this, like, extremely difficult. I can't lose- I can't get a game over in this game. Because I'm not good at Poyo. You can't let that happen. Game.
that wasn't a combo. Or was it? Maybe it just wants me to score points. It does. It's not even working by normal Poyo rules. It just wants me to... Oh, that was bad. It's not what I meant to do. Whatever. I don't care if I'm only sending lone trash pieces to him. He's building up combos, though. So maybe it's all about the time limit. Because I'm about to get a shit ton. Yeah. But... Does this determine where I go in the next stage, or... Sega did make Puyo Pop! But we established in the Puyo Puyo Tetris! Matcraft plays! I'm no good at this! There we go. No, no, there we don't go. That's not a combo. Oh, well, I beat him anyway. See, you just have to outlast him. See, that reminded me of... So I, at first, I thought it was going to make me play Sonic Eraser or Tetris. From a That was actually the boss of the stage! Oh my... Are all the bosses this clever? Wow. At first, I thought it, it, I thought it was setting me up to play like Sonic Eraser, and I'm like, No, they're not going to acknowledge that game exists, are they? Oh, Studiopolis! We aren't transported anywhere, we're just in a new place, Studiopolis. I, I kind of want to keep going until I get to a... Until I get to a zone. Where... That I haven't seen in the trailers. So, like, a Flying Battery... Is in the trailers. Which I think is going to be next, because we haven't seen a stage from Sonic 3 yet. Mushroom Hill is probably somewhere in the game. It's a pretty iconic stage. Oh my god, the visuals! That's awesome. Oh, I love how this stage looks. I love the aesthetic. I love that there are new stages, not just old ones. Because, like, when this game was announced... Maybe it did announce Studiopolis when it was announced. I think it did. But I was, I was going to say it just showed Green Hill, but that's not true. Like, this is cool. Like, to me, like, Sonic Advance will always popcorn. Sonic Advance will always be Sonic 4. Like, it, just like Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, it added a new character, and then Advance 2 added yet another new character. Advance 3 did not, but, um... Alright, I'm gonna test this to see if it actually does the thing. It does. Cool. That's good to know. It's just a lot of turning. The Joy-Con is surprisingly precise. Like, I couldn't imagine if I had to wait for the PC version, which got delayed. Um, haha. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't imagine playing this with my Xbox 360 controller. Even though I've played the original Sonic games on, on that before. Okay, guy. Guy. Oh my god! Let me get past here! Oh no, you messed up my mojo! Doing that whole thing. Oh. I think those were the last of them too. Actually, I don't. I don't think that. I have no confirmation or denial of that. Oh, this reminds me of CD, but like in a sort of good way, which is rare when I'm talking about CD. And now I'm back here. All right, can we do that again? <laughs> can we give that another shot? All right. Eat. Thank you. I love the design aesthetic of this stage.
I'm just like it's amazing like this is so much fun and like going back and playing Sonic 1 2 and 3 yes they're great games but like I don't think any of them have as much of the fun factor as this stuff an auto runner okay so um here's the thing about this Okay, I don't know what happened there. I paused the game with the home menu, which I heard there's a glitch with pausing the game on the home menu. But, um... Yeah. So, I'm not sure if that glitch is what killed me, or if, like, I got killed as I, uh... did a thing. I think the blue ones, I can hit back at him. Yeah. Now give me rings. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so th what this immediately reminds me of, I love auto-running boss fights in Sonic games. They're normally unpopular, like extremely unpopular. But like, I like them, because the first, not only Sonic game, but the first video game I ever played was Sonic Advance 2, and in that game, all the boss fights were, like every single one were, was an auto-runner. And so, like, whenever I see an auto-running boss fight in a Sonic game, like, I had a moment in Sonic 4 where I was like, that's so cool! Um. Let's not die. Yes! Three times, right? Looks like it. Oh, no. Oh, we might have one more. I think so. We killed all of his egg robos. Now it's just him, but they didn't give me rings for it. So I gotta be very careful. It hit him. Yes. Awesome. I get no ring bonus, but like, yes. Oh, I still could have lifted it up because it went upwards. I didn't expect that. Dang. Still. What a... God. Yeah, I love auto running boss fights. That was, that was a lot of fun. So what's the main boss fight going to be like? Like, I think that's the first time. That I've, I think that... I've been really impressed with the mid-boss. Like, really impressed. Like, the other ones were fun and simple. Well, actually, no, the other ones, like, ex were good and simple. Like, they certainly existed. Also, I love those turny things a lot better than the ones in, in the original series. Like, the original series ones were annoying. Um, you had to wait them out. And they, uh... They could hurt you if you just tried to attack them straight up. Those guys are fun. They just have to wear them out. I'm not gonna bother with that. You know, that's cool. So, does this count as the casino level? The obligatory casino level? Or... I mean, if they were going to put in any stage from Sonic 2 besides Chemical Plant, it would be Casino Night. So, you know what? They should... Totally do casino night. So I hope this isn't the obligatory um, casino level. Ooh, speed! Let's use it. Let's use it because we didn't when we did this in Green Hill Zone. Okay, when I say use it, I don't mean put me in an automated section where I can't use it. What? Where? What? <laughs> I didn't even realize I hit a thing. Also, where are the... <laughs> where are the damn giant rings? I almost turned too early there. Out of habit. Habit of what? I couldn't tell you. Nope, let's not do that. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, it's all about knowing the level design. How many of those are- how many different blue sphere layouts are there? Because you can get so many in one level. Oh, and those operate a lot better than the ones in Sonic 1 and Sonic CD. See, you'd think those weren't- wouldn't work. You'd think that those, like, whole things wouldn't work. The weird, like, bouncy things that you can sort of go through or sort of not. But, like, they work so well. Nah, fuck the blue sphere. <laughs> I've got a need for speed, man. I don't have time for your blue sphere nonsense. Okay, okay. This might be the pinball section. It is. It most certainly is. I kind of want to get up there. And at the same time, gutter ball. That's fine. If I absolutely must. That's not a gutter ball. What am I talking about? What's the pinball equivalent of a gutter ball? Like when it goes in the sink. Sink ball. I don't... Just ignore me from now on. Never listen to a word I, that comes out of my mouth. Except for buy this game. Because it's fun. Um... Tails jumps higher than I did. That was really easy. I want to see what the sun is. I, I, I didn't realize I could hit him so easily. At first, I'll oh, give me the wind again, then I can hit this really early. Tails hit it. Tails hit it. <laughs> I'm not sure if Tails can hit it. He can in the originals. Sick. Where am I going now? Am I getting transported to another old stage, or that's the thing from Angel Island Zone? Wait, did we just go into the TV? I missed that entirely. Flying battery. Yeah, this was the stage after... No, it wasn't. Oh well. Still. Still. Also. Never mind, ignore what I was about to say. Okay, never mind. Clearly. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about and should not be trusted with anything. There's a lot more fire here than I remember. I don't think the level design here is exactly the same. Also, Tails can't trigger those pull-down things. Thank the Lord. Because, like, Tails doing that in the original Flying Battery Zone was such a pain. I legit thought I was dead there for a minute. And cool. How many rings do I need to activate Blue Sphere? Is it none? Is the answer none? I think the answer might be none. You guys playing me? You have to play me like a fiddle. I don't like being played like a fiddle. I like being played like a good instrument. Go ahead and get these all corners. So I don't have to worry about them. No! <laughs> Damn me. Damn me in my hands! These hands have given me nothing in life! Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, damn. So because I have the... Oh yeah, there were those in the original. So because I have the lightning shield, I'm attracted to those anti-gravity things. That's so cool! That's awesome too. Wait, what? Is there is there a place I go after that? I guess down. Yeah. Oh shoot. Go. Oh. What the? Oh, maybe what it is is because I had the light. Wow, he sent me all the way back here. Because I had the lightning shield, it powered it on. So me jumping powered it off. Maybe I don't know. I get it again. That could be full of crap. They do introduce the concept of those things early to you. Now I wonder if the... the one-up crates, or boxes, TVs, um, respawn. They do! Cool. That's sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. For example, Sonic Unleashed on the slide section in Eggman Land, a very much bad thing. Wait, wait it out, wait it out. Got you. Wait it out. Oh, no, can't wait it out. No reason to. Blue Sphere! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... This reminds me of Carnival Night Zone. A zero out of ten, too much blue sphere. Honestly. Would not surprise me. Okay, so I tried to go backwards to get the one I jumped over accidentally, and that's what got me. But I mean, it's not like those are even to get Chaos Emeralds. I'm not even getting the things that I need to get Chaos Emeralds. Like, Christ. Am I supposed to be going? Oh no, I'm supposed to be going down. Okay. Oh, I got a 1-up from rings. Cool. What the- whoa! Can you not? I could have gotten a one up there. Or an invincibility thing there. No, let me go! Oh, come on. Blue Sphere. <laughs> Alright. That was my own fault. I'm so sorry. I mean, who else's fault would it be? But, like, you know what I mean. There we go. Ah, oh, those crushed me, I forget. I realized at the last second that those crushed me.
that almost crushed me. Not gonna lie. Oh no, I forgot those can be springs. Because of course it was. These things are only here to get rid of your lightning shield. Um. Um. Why aren't you going faster? I gotta let go of right, but like, come on, man. Get with it. Oh! Wait. Oh, he's just sending me down. Oh, oh. Now that's, uh. Fascinating. So am I just waiting it out? Just killing everything it creates? Like, is that the deal here? In more limited space? And also higher up, so I gotta jump a lot lower so I don't get electrocuted? Oh! I can- I can break it. I didn't realize I could break it. I don't care. Invincibility frames. I- oh. Crap. <laughs> God, that was Act 1? I'm, I'm just gonna have to see what the next stage is and then stop. Oh. That's cool! Aw. Oh, that's real neat. No, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm in the trash. Fair enough. <laughs> wow, game, way to get way to get me to admit it. This is neat. Oh, these things! From Sonic CD. From the worst stage in Sonic CD, which says a lot, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, boy. But you can break the things! You can break the things that generate it! Wow. Wow. I don't know if I got to say this earlier or if I just thought it. Wow, bottomless pit. But, like, remaking these old stages is chances for them to fix mistakes they made uh, the first time making them around. Not that there were many, except in the Sonic CD stage. Which, if it sends me to start a speedway after this, I'm just... I'm just done. Like, I'll certainly play it in my own time, but, like... Honestly, in terms of all the classic style Sonic games, this might be this might be my favorite already, just based on what I've done already alone. Although I can't say it's my favorite 2D Sonic game. It's gonna have a lot to compete with. Um, it's gonna take a lot to compete with Sonic Advance 2, but that's mostly nostalgia factor. Wow, the wind! Um, no, I need that. So gracias. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to ride those. What? what? Oh, whoa. Oh, I'm supposed to be... Okay. I got you now. Makes a lot more sense. Okay. That... Oh! Getting off of these is still as much of a pain as it was in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Or Sonic and Knuckles, more specifically. Or less specifically. 
I don't know. No! Mine! Second special stage. I really wonder how many stages this game has. Because, like, the issue... There are seven Chaos Emeralds, right? The issue with... Losing rings actually has purpose. Being in the water. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Does it still get rid of your rings, like, rapidly? Maybe less rapidly than CD does it? But, like, depending on how... Here's the thing about the classic games. You didn't have that many stages to get the opportunities to go to the special stages. Like, you ran out of them real quick. Um... And by before you knew it, the game was over. You didn't have all the Chaos Emeralds. Too bad. Um, but depending on how many stages there are in this game, they may give me a lot of chances, even though I've missed so many already. Oh, this... I don't like this. Because of the slightly different... Um, gravity. Yeah, the feel to the game is slightly different. It's like your jumps are slightly off, so like having to instantly turn and jump over something, really not into it. Oh well, I'm s I'm still having a a blast, a blast processor. Jesus, I went struggling fast. No! Oh! If I had jumped, I think I could have... No, I would have jumped into another red one. Dang. I love the music with the added, like, thunder and lightning sound effects. I didn't bother going to the top of that because I didn't feel... I didn't feel the need. Go. Okay. That's fair. We put me in the trash. Blue Sphere. <laughs> why are there so. Like, I get why there are that many checkpoints, because they're much longer stages than in the Genesis games. Yeah, see, I wouldn't be able to do that in the original ones. I wouldn't be able to jump over two reds. This ain't Sonic 3, this is Sonic Mania. Don't question me. Nope. Can't do that, though. <laughs> Ugh. When was the last time I beat one of these. Is it just me or is this like the longest stage yet? Like Act 1 plus Act 2. Flying Battery is like the longest we've taken so far. See, this is a clever way of using these things. Like, that. whoa. Oops. Like, not just scattering them around a place where you're constantly bouncing all over the place with no control. Sonic CD. Collision Chaos. Or wait, or was it? It was Wacky Workbench that did that. Um, but, like... See, I can't even be bothered to remember the stages. So disgraceful. Hey, um, I don't know if I've made it clear yet, but I don't like Sonic CD. So, um, you know, if I haven't, I'd like to formally apologize, not for not liking Sonic CD, but for not making it clear that I don't like Sonic CD. That's the only thing I have to apologize for, is not being more clear about that. But, like, it's not one of those games where I can't see why people like it. Some people are just a lot more tolerant than I am. I just can't understand why some people 
dare say or used to say that it was the best Sonic game, or even I don't want to be in the blue sphere. Just let me out of this stage. Ooh. Oh. Um. Oh. That's cool. This is cool. I like this. I like it a lot. No, don't do that. Oh dear. Oh. Oh no, I lost all my rings. That's bad. There we go. Playing it safe. This is cool! Like, it, it would be really easy, especially with the Poyo Pop one, um, to just write these boss fights off as gimmicky. But, like, they're fun gimmicks! Like, a game being gimmicky isn't a bad thing if the gimmicks are good. Damn! I was so close. Like, being gimmicky is never bad if the gimmicks are fun. Like, for example, Sonic CD, super gimmicky. Especially in its level design. Were the gimmicks fun? No, and that's why I don't like the game. Alright, doing this much more efficiently now. Just hitting that ball postpones his, um, postpones his shooting electro balls. Damn, I missed. Okay. Awesome. Did it. Sweet. God, that's fun! Even though I almost died twice, but I did die once. Actually. Oh cool, I don't have to catch a flying thing. Or did I ever? I don't know. Where am I going? Tell me where are you going? Press Garden! Yeah, I was hoping to find a new stage! Yeah, I, I haven't seen anything about this, and you know what? I don't want to! And by I don't want to, I mean I'll do it in um in my own time. I'm not going to continue while explaining this. I already have Mario World and Dream Daddy going on. Um, so, no. But, God, this is so much fun. Like, even, I think this would be a great, like, entrance game. For even people who never played the original Sonic cl Classic Trilogy or CD, this is a great place to start. It's so fun, and while the controls feel just like just like they did in um, the original ones. It's just a welcome, like people who are used to them. It still it has something that the original ones don't, and I think it's the level design is just so good. It's it's so good and smooth, and like I find myself randomly dying if I try to rush through, um, even Sonic Advance or any of the classic games, including CD. If I try to rush through the stages, I find myself dying a lot. This, no! I'm like, I've never seen these level designs before, even though I have, I did at the beginning for a bit. And I still, I love every minute of it. This is so much fun. But anyways, enough of my ramblings. I'm Matt Craft Observer, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.